Hello. I made a video a few days ago showcasing a fan-made particle block for piggy build mode. Today, I made a new block, as well as creating a new GUI to help with it. I also made it easier to create new blocks so from now on, I could make more videos that include multiple blocks in each. The GUI includes a new building system, deletion system, painting slash picking color system, material system, and asset picking system. A lot of systems. Today's block was inspired by a comment on my last video by Moldy Hot Dog Boy, so if you want your idea to be in my video, make sure to comment it below. Now let me introduce the actual block. Here is the mesh block. It allows you to include unique shapes inside of your maps. The three variables are the mesh, or the shape, ID, the texture ID, and whether the mesh should maintain its original size or fit the block. If you test without changing the mesh or texture, it will show up as a normal block. If you choose to rescale it, it will become bigger than the block, but if you don't it will be a lot smaller. The only collidable hitbox is the base cube itself. You can go through the mesh if it's bigger than the cube. Now, let me show you how to actually obtain the mesh ID as well as the texture ID. First, you want to open up Roblox Studio and go to any place. Then, go to the toolbox and filter it to meshes. You don't have to worry about inserting viruses because free meshes don't come with any scripts, only some free models. I'm going with a simple Apple mesh that comes with a texture. Go to the properties panel and copy the number portion of the mesh ID property. Now, in the mesh ID field, paste that mesh ID. Wonderful! It shows up as an apple that takes up the full square. The only thing missing is the texture now. If we turn off the rescale property, the apple will show up a lot smaller, which was its original size. If you don't include a texture, the shape will have the color of the block. For example, we will paint the block red so the mesh will show up as red. And there we go. It shows up as red, without a texture. But for more detail, let's add that texture anyway. We're just going to use the same method, copy the texture ID and paste it in the field. Look at that. It's perfect. Like I said in the last video, looking at Roblox Studio reminds me about Happy Birthday, Serafina, The Chronicles, my upcoming game. Again, if you haven't seen the trailer, click the link in the top right corner. Now, let's combine the particle block from last time and the mesh block. I just want the apple to have a red sparkly aura so it looks cooler. I don't have a movement system yet, so I'm going to go on the server side and move the block from there. Alright, let's test it. And that's it for the video. If you have any suggestions at all, please comment them down because I kind of want to make this a series. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.